Are you feeling overwhelmed right now? Do you find yourself constantly struggling with life's problems, trying to figure everything out on your own? The truth is, many of us try to carry burdens that were never meant for us. We think we can handle everything. But here's the good news. You don't have to. God wants to take total control of your situation. There's a peace that comes when you stop striving and surrender everything to Him. You may be asking, how do I do that? Let's take a journey today and discover how letting go of control allows God to work in your life. Let's begin with one of the most comforting and well-known passages in Scripture, Proverbs 3 verses 5 to 6. Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. In all your ways submit to Him, and He will make your path straight. This verse holds so much power and meaning, especially when you're facing challenges or uncertainty. It calls for complete trust in God with all your heart. Not just partial trust or trusting God when things are easy, but giving Him your full confidence, even when things don't make sense. That's the hardest part for many of us, isn't it? It's easy to trust when life is going well, but when things are hard, we tend to lean on our own understanding. The next part of the verse tells us, lean not on your own understanding. That's a call to action. It means you must let go of trying to figure everything out on your own. Your understanding is limited. You can only see part of the picture, but God sees the whole thing. He knows the end from the beginning. When you stop leaning on your own understanding, you make room for God's perfect wisdom. The verse continues, In all your ways submit to Him. This means in everything you do, in every decision, you acknowledge God. You seek His will and guidance first, not as a last resort when things get out of control. To submit means to surrender your plans, your desires, and your timeline to Him. It's trusting that His ways are higher and better, even when you can't see the full picture yet. Finally. We're given a promise. He will make your path straight. This means that when you trust God completely, He will direct your steps. He will lead you to the right path, the best path, the one that aligns with His good plan for your life. Maybe right now your path feels crooked or unclear, but God promises to straighten it out. He will lead you, but only if you allow Him to take control. Let's also look at Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9, where God reminds us. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your way, and my thoughts than your thoughts. This is a beautiful reminder that God's perspective is much higher and wider than ours. When you let Him take control, you're choosing the higher way, the way that leads to peace, provision, and purpose. In summary, the scriptures remind us over and over again to stop striving in our own strength. Instead, we are called to trust, submit, and rest in God's wisdom. His plans are always better, His timing is always perfect, and His path for your life is far straighter and more purposeful than the one you can create for yourself. As we reflect on this, it's important to recognize that your struggle is real, but so is God's power. We all face struggles. Maybe you're dealing with financial issues, family problems, or health challenges. Perhaps you feel lost, wondering how you'll ever get through this season. Let's be honest, life can feel like a constant uphill battle. But I want to remind you that while your struggle is very real, God's power is even more real. And it's greater than any obstacle you are facing right now. Many of us tend to believe that if we just push harder or do more, we'll eventually solve the problem. But here's the thing, God never intended for you to carry that weight alone. The struggle you're facing may be too big for you, but it's never too big for God. Isaiah 40 verse 29 reminds us, He gives strength to the weary and increases the power of the weak. When you feel like you're at your breaking point, God steps in with His strength. Think of it this way. If you've ever been caught in a strong current while swimming, the harder you fight against the current, the more exhausted you become. But the moment you stop fighting and let the current carry you, you realize that you can float. God is that current. When you stop struggling on your own and let Him carry you, you'll find peace even in the midst of your troubles. In the Old Testament, we see this truth clearly in the story of the Israelites. 
They faced impossible odds against Pharaoh's army as they stood before the Red Sea. They had no way out. But instead of panicking, Moses told them, The Lord will fight for you. You need only to be still. Exodus 14 verse 14. And what happened next? God parted the Red Sea. The very thing that looked like an obstacle became the path to their victory. The same is true in your life. What feels like a dead end or an overwhelming struggle might just be the place where God wants to show you His power. If you're facing something impossible right now, don't lose heart. God is with you. Just like He delivered the Israelites, He could deliver you too. But first, you need to stop fighting in your own strength and allow Him to take over. So, what does this look like practically? It means giving God space to work. It means letting go of the idea that you have to fix everything. It means acknowledging that God is in control. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is nothing, to be still and trust that God is fighting your battles. But that's where true faith comes in. The key is remembering that your struggle is temporary, but God's power is eternal. You don't have to keep wrestling with your situation. Instead, place it in God's hands. He's more than able to carry what you can't. He knows your needs, he sees your pain, and he's ready to step in when you surrender the situation to him. Remember, God is not distant. He is close. He's not ignoring your struggle. He cares deeply about what you're going through, and he is fully able to lift that burden. In fact, Jesus invites you to do just that. In Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30, he says, Come to me, all you who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. If you're weary from the struggle, it's time to exchange your burden for His. Let God's power move in your life today. Stop struggling and let Him take total control. You've recognized that your struggles are real and God's power is available to you. But how do you move from battling these challenges on your own to truly embracing His strength? Let's explore the next step Understanding that letting go of control doesn't mean giving up. Instead, it means trusting in a higher plan, one that knows exactly what you need in every moment of your life. Surrendering to God doesn't mean you're giving up. It means you're letting go of the need to figure everything out by yourself. There's a big difference between giving up in frustration and letting go in trust. When you give up, you're saying, I can't do this and I have no hope. But when you let go, you're saying, God, I trust that you can do what I cannot. It's not about quitting. It's about releasing control to the one who is all power, wisdom, and love for you. Think about it this way. When a child is struggling to tie their shoelaces and they can't seem to get it right, eventually they stop trying and ask their parent for help. The parent steps in and effortlessly ties the shoes. The child didn't give up on wearing shoes. They just realized they needed help. In the same way, when you surrender to God, you're not quitting on your situation. You're simply acknowledging that God is much more capable than you are. Trusting God means believing that He sees the whole picture, even when you only see a piece of the puzzle. Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 reminds us, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. This scripture shows that God's perspective is far above ours. He knows what is best for you, even when you don't understand why certain things are happening. Letting go also means giving God room to work. When we try to control everything, it's like holding onto a rope so tightly that our hands hurt. But the moment we release that rope, we allow God to move. It doesn't mean everything will change instantly, but it does mean that we've stepped aside so that God can step in. And when He steps in, He brings solutions, peace, and healing in ways that we could never have imagined. Think about how Jesus calmed the storm for His disciples. They were in the boat, terrified by the wind and the waves, trying to manage the situation on their own. They probably thought that all hope was lost, but when they called on Jesus, He got up and simply said, Peace be still, Mark 4 verse 39. In an instant, the storm stopped. That's the power of letting go. 
when you stop trying to handle everything and instead bring your troubles to God. He speaks peace into your storm and everything begins to change. God's timing is perfect and His ways are better than anything you can plan. He knows exactly what you need and when you need it. Sometimes we want things to happen immediately, but God is working on a bigger picture. He's aligning things in the background that we can't even see yet. Your job is not to figure out how it will all work out. Your job is to trust Him enough to let go and believe that He will. So, surrender is not defeat. It's the ultimate victory because it invites God's power into your life. When you let go, you're placing your situation in the safest hands there are God's hands. Trust that He will take care of you because He always does. As we pause to recognize the power of God in our struggles, it's essential to understand that letting go doesn't equate to giving up. Instead, it opens the door to a deeper trust in His plan. You see, surrendering your challenges to God means embracing a faith that transcends your fears. This leads us to the next vital truth. God's plan for your life is far greater than any fear you may hold. When you confront those fears and lay them at His feet, you'll find that His promises far exceed the limitations of your own understanding. Fear keeps many of us from letting go. We're afraid of losing control, afraid things won't work out the way we hope. But God's plan for your life is always bigger and better than what you can imagine. Jeremiah 29 verse 11 reminds us, For I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not to harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. When you release your fears and trust His plan, you step into something greater than you could ever achieve on your own. Fear often comes from the unknown. You may be thinking, what will happen if I let go? What if things don't go my way? But here's the truth. Fear only thrives when we focus on what could go wrong. The enemy wants you to live in fear because it paralyzes you. It keeps you stuck worrying about things that might not even happen. But when you trust in God's plan, you don't have to worry about every detail. You know He's got it under control. Think of it like this. Imagine you're holding onto a rope for dear life, afraid to let go because you think you'll fall. But what if letting go means landing in the arms of the one who never lets you fall? That's what surrendering to God is like. His arms are there to catch you, and His plan is greater than the rope you're clinging to. God's plan doesn't always make sense in a moment. You might be facing situations where you wonder, how could this possibly be part of God's plan? But remember, Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9 says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. What you see as a setback, God can use as a setup for something greater. Look at the story of Joseph in the Bible. He was betrayed by his brothers, sold into slavery, falsely accused, and thrown into prison. It would have been easy for Joseph to live in fear or question God's plan. But in the end, God used every painful situation to elevate Joseph to a position of power in Egypt. He said to his brothers in Genesis 50 verse 20, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good, to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. Just like Joseph, the things in your life that seem uncertain or painful can be the very things God uses to bring about something far greater than you expect. Fear loses its power when you place your trust in God. The more you trust Him, the smaller your fears become. Fear says, what if? But faith says, even if. Even if things don't go the way you planned, even if the road is hard, God is still in control, and His plan is still good. Trust that He is always working for your good, even in the midst of fear and uncertainty. When you release your fears and trust His plan, you step into something greater than you could ever achieve on your own. This brings us to an essential truth. While fear tries to bind you, surrender brings a profound peace. One of the greatest misconceptions people have is thinking that surrendering control means things will fall apart. But in reality, when you surrender to God, you're not stepping into chaos. You're stepping into peace. Think about it this way. 
When you're trying to control everything, it's like holding onto a rope that's pulling you in every direction. You get tired, frustrated, and overwhelmed. But when you let go, it doesn't mean you're giving up. It means you're letting God take hold of that rope. And when God takes control, He doesn't just stop the chaos. He brings peace. The kind of peace that calms your heart. Even when everything around you seems uncertain. Jesus Himself promised us peace. In John 14 verse 27, He said, Peace I leave with you. My peace I give you. I do not give to you as the world gives. Do not let your hearts be troubled and do not be afraid. This peace is unlike anything the world offers. The world's peace depends on perfect circumstances, but God's peace stays with you, no matter what's happening. When you surrender your struggles, your future, or your fears to God, you're allowing His peace to fill the space where anxiety used to live. It's a shift from carrying everything yourself to trusting that God knows what's best, even when you can't see the full picture. That doesn't mean life will be without challenges, but it does mean you'll face those challenges with a calm heart, knowing God is in control. You've probably heard the phrase, let go and let God. But that's more than just a saying, it's a lifestyle. It's a decision you make every day to trust God, instead of leaning on your own understanding. And as you practice this, the peace of God will become more and more real in your life. You will find that even in the midst of difficulties, you can breathe because you're no longer carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders. Philippians 4 verses 6 to 7 teaches us this. Do not be anxious about anything, but in every situation, by prayer and petition, with thanksgiving, present your requests to God. And the peace of God, which transcends all understanding, will guard your hearts and your minds in Christ Jesus. Notice how it says the peace of God guards your heart. That means it stands as a protector, keeping you from being overwhelmed by the stress, the fear, and the chaos of life. Surrender brings that kind of protection. When you place everything into God's hands, He places peace into yours. So, ask yourself, what are you still holding on to? What's keeping you up at night, running circles in your mind? Today, God is inviting you to let go and allow His peace to take over. Remember, you don't have to carry this alone. As we embrace this peace that comes from surrendering our struggles to God, we must remember that letting go is not a sign of weakness, but an act of profound faith. This peace is the foundation upon which faith is built. And it is faith that acts as the key to our breakthroughs. When we release control, we open ourselves to believe that God can do far more than we could ever imagine. Faith is what unlocks the door to God's provision in your life. When you hold on to control, it shows a lack of faith. But when you let go, you're telling God, I trust you. And faith moves mountains. Matthew 17 verse 20 says, Truly I tell you, if you have faith as small as a mustard seed, you can say to this mountain, Move from here to there, and it will move. Nothing will be impossible for you. But here's the thing about faith. It's not about how big it is, but who your faith is in. A mustard seed is one of the smallest seeds, but even with that tiny bit of faith, God can do incredible things. It's not about having perfect faith, but having faith in a perfect God. Sometimes, all you need to do is take the smallest step of faith. Just enough to say, Lord, I trust you. And that's when you'll see the breakthrough begin. Faith is also active, not passive. It means believing God is working, even when things look impossible. Think about the story of Peter walking on water. In Matthew 14 verses 29 to 31. He stepped out of the boat in faith, but the moment he took his eyes off Jesus and focused on the storm around him, he began to sink. Jesus reached out and saved him, but notice what happened. Peter's faith got him out of the boat. That first step of faith allowed him to do the impossible. Maybe today, God is asking you to take that step of faith. It could be something small, like surrendering a worry, or something big, like trusting Him with a life-changing decision. Whatever it is, remember that God honors faith, no matter how small it may seem to you. Hebrews 11 verse 6 says, 
And without faith, it is impossible to please God, because anyone who comes to Him must believe that He exists and that He rewards those who earnestly seek Him. Your faith connects you to God's power. It opens doors that human effort alone could never open. The Bible is full of stories of people who trusted God in the face of overwhelming odds. Abraham waiting for a child, Moses leading the Israelites through the Red Sea, or Joshua marching around the walls of Jericho. Their faith activated God's promises. So, what does that look like for you? It could be trusting God for provision when finances are tight, believing for healing when doctors say it's impossible, or having faith that God will restore a broken relationship. Whatever your situation, faith is the key that opens the door to God's miracles. But remember, it's not just about asking God to change your circumstances. It's about trusting Him to carry you through them, knowing that He's working for your good, even when you can't see it. Your breakthrough is on the other side of faith. Believe that God can do the impossible in your situation. And here's the beautiful truth. While you exercise that faith, remember that you are not alone in this journey. You may not see the results right now, but I want you to know that God is always at work, even when it seems like nothing is happening. Think of it like a seed planted in the ground. At first, nothing looks different. You don't see any growth, but deep in the soil, roots are spreading, and the seed is preparing to break through. Just because you don't see the changes right away doesn't mean that God isn't moving. It's easy to feel discouraged when things aren't going the way you expected, especially when you've been praying and waiting for answers. But remember this, God's timing is different from ours. Let's recall Isaiah 55 verses 8 to 9. It says, For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, declares the Lord. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. You may not understand why things are delayed, but trust that God's plan is unfolding exactly as it should. Sometimes, God is protecting you from something you can't see. You may be praying for a door to open, but God knows that what's behind that door is not for you. Other times, He's preparing you for something greater. You might not be ready yet for what He has in store. And in His love, He's growing you in ways that aren't visible right now. But every prayer, every act of faith, is preparing you for the moment when His answer is revealed. Let's go back to the story of Joseph in the Bible. Joseph endured so much pain and suffering and it looked like nothing was going right in his life. But behind the scenes, God was positioning Joseph for a greater purpose. Every setback was setting the stage for Joseph to step into the role of leadership that God had prepared for him all along. Genesis 50 verse 20 tells us Joseph's perspective when he says, You intended to harm me, but God intended it for good to accomplish what is now being done, the saving of many lives. In the same way, God is using the situations in your life to shape you for something far greater than you can see right now. In the waiting, God is building your character. He's strengthening your faith, teaching you patience, and molding you into the person He's called you to be. Trust that even in the silence, even when it seems like nothing is changing, God is working. Romans 8 verse 28 promises, And we know that in all things, God works for the good of those who love Him who have been called according to His purpose. This means that no matter what you're going through, God is working it all together for your good. Even when it feels hard or painful, God is using it to bring about something beautiful. So don't give up hope. Don't let the lack of visible change make you think God has forgotten you. He hasn't. He's working behind the scenes, putting the right people in place, opening the right doors, and making sure that when the time is right, everything will come together. In the meantime, keep trusting, keep believing, and keep holding on to the promise that God is in control and He is always working for your good. It's time to stop struggling. It's time to surrender your situation completely to God. What's the thing you've been holding on to, trying to fix in your own strength? Today, I encourage you to let it go. Trust God fully. Begin to pray, Lord, I give this to you. I know you are in control. When you stop struggling and give God control, you experience a peace that surpasses understanding. You allow God to work in ways you never could on your own. 
Remember, His plans are greater than your fears, and His peace will guard your heart. Trust Him with your situation and watch how He leads you through. Before we close, let's take a moment to invite God into our hearts and surrender everything to Him. Let's lay down our struggles and trust Him to take control. Dear Heavenly Father, we come before you in humility, acknowledging that we often try to carry burdens that were never meant for us. We confess our need for you, Lord, and we surrender every worry, every fear, and every struggle that has weighed us down. In this moment, we release control and place everything in your hands. Father, you see the brokenness in our hearts, the situations that feel too heavy to bear. But we know that you are a God who holds the universe, and nothing is too difficult for you. You promised in your word that when we trust you with all our hearts, you will direct our paths. So today, we are choosing to trust you, even when we can't see the full picture. Help us to rest in the knowledge that you are already working behind the scenes for our good. Lord, fill us with your peace, the peace that surpasses all understanding and guard our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. We pray for strength to let go of our fears and anxieties, and for faith to believe that your plans are greater than anything we could imagine. Let us be still and know that you are God. Thank you for loving us, for caring for us, and for always being faithful. We place every situation in your hands and trust you to lead us. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. If this message has blessed you today, take a moment to like this video and share it with someone who needs to be reminded to let go and let God take control. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you never miss an encouraging word that strengthens your faith. Together, let's continue growing in trust and experiencing God's peace in every area of our lives.